Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Rashan Fernando. So today I'm going to give a small introduction about the about a hot topic uh, in IT industry. So this is the one of the hot topic uh, right now at the moment. So I'll, first of all, I'll share my screen to have a better view. Okay, so today I'm now, now I'm going to give a small presentation about how the quality of the wine is calculated from the Python. So Python is the most commonly used language in data sciences. So the wine quality is calculated through the Python here. So this is a very good uh, hot topic uh, with the data sciences as well. That's why I take this uh, topic to check the wine quality from the Python. So first of all, uh, I'll discuss uh, more about uh, data sciences and what machine learn learning means. So data sciences and how the machine learn learning works. So machine learning is the part of the artificial intelligence ai so data science is the branch so, uh, the highest tree at the moment and artificial intelligence and the machine learning is a sub parts so you can see in this uh, diagram the machine learning is the in the all all are coming under artificial intelligence and the data science as well so machine learning is a small sub part of everything. So it's or data sciences collect the all the preparation of data and all the analysis of data. So AI doing the, all the industry expertise and statistics to make business decisions. So machine learning is a small subset of AI and data sciences. Okay, I think you got it right now. So today I'm going to give a small introduction about uh, data analytics site uh, doing the programming with uh, uh, Python, how to make the wine quality. So wine quality is measured uh, from the Python uh, as well. So I usually use this data set. So this wine quality data set is here shown here. You can see this is a CSV file and it has uh, two wine data. So uh, two type of wine data. So one is a uh, white wine and one is red wine. So the chemicals uh, used uh, in uh, wine here is a, uh, shown in these columns. You can see uh, volatile acidity, citric acid, residual sugar, chlorides, free sulfur dioxide, total sulfur dioxide. So those are chemicals in this wine, white and red wine. So this com manufacturing company produced uh, this uh, brand. This brand has this fixed acidity, volatile acidity, and citric acid as well. So you can see all the stuff in this uh, Excel sheet as well, and the white wine and red wine as well. So, okay. So now I'm going to share my screen uh, to show my uh, notebooks. So you can see my Jupyter Notebook here. So I'm using Jupyter Notebook for the Python programming. 
So as you can see, I already upload my necessary libraries here. So this is the this is the file I'm used to import the data. So wine quality I showed previously the wine quality dot csv file the excel file the which has the all the chemicals and wine data red wine and the wine data as well all the chemicals and so this the that uh that file here shown here so this file is uh import here so once i executed that uh excel file the all the data is coming here as well and you can see so this is a, this is a, this is a top uh, see the, this uh, code is used to show the top top uh, rows uh, in this uh, table so this uh, wine dot head means that is is shown the top top uh, rows the header so this uh, that's the last row the last row is uh, 69 6496 yeah so there are 16496 rows as well so there are type of uh, wines there is a uh, 60496 so you can see all the chemicals here as well the volatile acidity citric acid as well everything here so because i import all the excel sheet to here as well so this is a drop in any function uh, remove the, all the null values so it so it will reduce the all the null values the rows doesn't have any values so it will automatically if you put that uh, uh code there drop na to the table the wine table so it's uh, reduced the null values so it doesn't have any numbers anything yeah so so i'll reduce the rows to 60,463 okay so you can see everything here yeah so everything uh shown here is the after the comparison you can see the white and red wine so i i uh, separate the both two wines because we have red and white wines only here so you can see the highest number is has the white wine. So there are a lot of white wines in this uh, factory. So yeah, so is the count is goes to more than 4,000. Yeah, so here you can see, yeah. So it has the highest uh, count uh, in this manufacturing company. And also I used the box plot to compare the all the all the white wine and the red wine chemicals. So I used the fixed acidity chemical here in the in the row. Here you can see under X axis. So it's fixed acidity. So fixed acidity is uh, used here in this plot. So I use here, uh, change everything in the plot here. So use this uh, commands. Yeah. So I did some comparison as well here as well. So quality as well. Uh, yeah. So the quality is, when we check the quality, the quality is measured with numbers. So you can see there are numbers two, three, two, uh, uh, one to ten. So the quality is measured with numbers here. So they can uh, see here, sit here, numbers here. So, yep. So also we calculate the correlation, the correlation of each uh, materials and uh, all the chemicals here as well. So, yep, each uh how the each chemicals is related to each other. So it is measured with correlation, wine dot co c o r r. So it's that code is used here. And also 
uh, we use this uh, uh, heat map here as well. So make some uh, figures as well. Also, we did some uh, new uh, table as well. So I also open my next screen. So you can see the wine quality is measured here as well. So we use the correlation between the columns to change the change the relationship uh, between the chemicals. So you can see here the quality here, quality and the other materials like uh, chemicals so highest uh, you can see highest correlation of the of the chemicals is uh, alcohol yeah so you it's a high correlation so that is a uh, this code is used to show the correlation each, of each other. And also, we use this uh, we use the find the quality of the wine so th this is the last part of the uh, this project is to find the quality of the wine to find the quality of the wine we use a different formula here function here so that's a secret uh, formula here as well yeah that, that's the best uh, part in this uh, area so I'll show the secret of all algorithm to find the formula here. Yeah, so wine quality. So we, we are using the wine quality, find the wine, wine quality if it is greater than seven. So I previously mentioned the quality is measured uh, from the one to seven. And if it's uh, greater than seven, it gives a one. And if uh, less than seven, it gives zero. So after after that, this this is the code here. We apply this this code uh, in this uh, Python. So after that. Uh, it will use the all the uh, good quality wines, which is greater than seven. So, so it will give the best quality wine, and you can find easily which is best. So, after the analysis of this uh, uh, wine wine product, you can have the best quality wine and uh, you, you don't get uh, disappointed actually you get the taste of the best wine for you so this is a good uh, experiment with the python to find the best quality wine in the world yeah thank you very much for watching this uh, video so i'll sh i'll give share more videos like this uh, in the future thank you to Thank you to watch uh, this type of video and you can have a
you can have a look in my YouTube channel to have a better view. Thank you.